Ebony Ralph, and you're watching Crave Magazine. This is Leon. Hi, I'm Nia Long. Hey, it's your girl, Shanti. Hey, Crave Magazine. What's up? Shout out to Crave Magazine. Much love. What's up? This is Megan Good, and I just want to tell Crave Magazine. I love Crave Magazine. I just crave you. Oh, I'm starving. Mm. I'm Karen Melina White, and you're reading. Crave. Crave Magazine. Hey, Crave Magazine. You, you know about that? You know about And I'm not mad at that. Hey, Crave Magazine. You know I love you, right? This is Kenny Lattimore checking out Crave Magazine. It's your girl Claudia Jordan here with my boy Brandon. That was smooth, Craving. right? Craving. <laughs> Crave. You know how he craved that, that Mike Lee dropped it? We're with Crave. And so you've worked with Crave, right? Absolutely. I did a I did a cover last year. Wonderful magazine. Much success and congratulations to everybody at Crave. What's going on everybody? It's me, Brandon McCaskill, and I'm here live on the red carpet with Crave Magazine at the 20th annual NAACP Theater Awards. It is live. You mess up. You have to be creative, you have to find a way to make it work, and that's happened to me numerous times. I mean, when we're first learning um, how to do a play or how to break down a character and create a role, it's all about the theater. And I commend those who do it for a living. You know, it's very demanding, and you know, although I did it for a short period of time, I'm like, whoa, this is completely different from my career. You look amazing tonight. Thank you very much. Do you age? That's my question. Do you age? I, I try to stay home and relax and work out and be a mom and have a normal life. So if that's an anti-aging thing, then that's what I'm doing. So how was it working on Hellcat? It's great, it's great. We have, you know, a young group of actors. We have, um, what's wonderful for the CW is it's very diverse. You know, we've got a show with um, Robbie Jones, uh, myself, um, D.B. Woodside, you know, so um, you're seeing a lot more color, a lot more flavor. You're seeing uh, music, you're seeing, um, you know, great storylines and, and kind of this all-inclusive feeling. So I'm really excited to, to bring that uh, to everybody come September 8th. Soon to be, there's a lot of talk about me playing the next reboot of Blade. So I might be following Wesley Snipes' uh, footsteps very much uh, because of the character that I played in Tekken, which is Raven. Uh, so when you have the opportunity, check that out. Now we're with one of our cover superstars, Brian White. How you doing, man? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. How are you doing? Your career, wow. It, it wasn't overnight for you. Oh, no, no. It's a marathon to keep a career going in Hollywood. It's not a sprint. So it feels good to have some longevity. You know, I'm still young, still got a lot to do, but uh, trying to stay humble, put in that work, and just grow as far as I can grow. Uh, as an artist. So I'm having a great time and here to celebrate some more artists doing the real thing, the theater, here tonight. And speaking of theater, we're at the NAACP Theater Awards. Now you dance and you've done theater work as well. Now tell us about some of that. Yeah, I have a dance company back home. I started in theater, so it's, it's very humbling and flattering to be involved as a presenter tonight. You know, the real talent always starts in theater and develops from there, so I'm here to pay respects to those that are doing it, just starting out and those who are doing it real big in theater. We're here on the red carpet with Miss Cheryl Lee Ralph. Thank you. It's good to be here. Now, I actually saw you when you came down to FAMU and performed this past spring. Amazing. Wow, so many students saw that production. I mean, it's amazing that so many of you are actually in the business in such a short amount of time. Wow, that's great. So we, as people, especially people of color, have got to keep the arts alive. It remains one of the last places for us to really be able to tell our story solely in our words, in our music. I just did an incredible role. I played the, the role of Mamie Till, Emmett Till's mother, um, at a wonderful production at the Fountain Theater, and hopefully we'll be nominated next year. Okay, thank you. Um, so, thank you. yes, I claim it. We name, we, yes, we nominated. Um, so theater is where um, African American artists get to do all kinds of roles that we're kind of locked out of, you know, on, in the mainstream. And so it's just an amazing journey, an amazing experience. So I love it. Rush, because I am hosting tonight's um, venue of the Theater Awards for NAACP, so I'm very happy about that. But I'm scurrying through here and hit the stage so I can start the show. Yes, yes. The movie is coming out in March. And cross your fingers, it may be a series. So that's going to be great. I'm with Stacey Dash and Lauren London. It's an awesome piece. My girlfriend is the writer, Stacey A. Littlejohn. And I'm happy that I'm doing some things that I like to do coming back into my career. You've been working House of Pain and a lot of other projects. What can we expect from Lance in the future? Uh, more episodes of House of Pain, and I'm, I'm concentrating on my film career also. So it's a lot of good stuff coming up. Now, you know, with Crave, we love fashion. And can we get this suit and these shoes? Can, 
Just can I have it? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let you have it after I'm done. You can only wear it once anyway, so. All right, cool. Um, it's called Jumping the Broom. Myself, Angela Bassett, Paula Patton, Loretta Devine, um, just a lot of amazing people, and it was really, really fun. So, I think it comes out Mother's Day. Yeah, I'm back in the studio working on my sexy. I'm hanging with the boys. I'm doing that sexy R&B. I'm hanging with the boys. The Trey songs, the R. Kelly's. Got to give you that little sexy vibe. Represent for the ladies. So, thank you. I appreciate it. Lottery Ticket is out in theaters right now. I'm very excited. I get a chance to be one of the, the lead roles opposite Bow Wow and Brandon T. Jackson. It feels good. I'm just blessed to have such a career that's been constantly growing, you know, from notorious to fame to Lottery Ticket. I'm, I'm, I'm very fortunate. What's up, man? Yeah, I'm having a great time, you know? Uh, it's doing good. I think it's like number three or four in the box office, so you know how we do it. We ain't done yet. <laughs> Crave Magazine, Blue Collar Dreams, that's my label, new album, Fly on the Wall, in stores real soon. See, I look out for that. Capitol Records, Bobby V. How are you? Yay! I know Crave. Yes, sir, I do. Oh, gosh. Thank you. Well, you know what? I was here for the pre-show, so I was trying to maintain all day into the, the real presentation. So, yeah, just happy I could be here. This is my first time attending. Yeah, I had no idea it had been going on for 20 years. So, yeah, just happy to be a part of it. Now you guys are producing a project coming up, right? That's right, the uh, Real Teens of Hollywood. Talk, yeah. talk about that. Well, we have uh, six teens that are actually trying to get in, make their way to the A-list, and they're, they're doing it the right way. They're, you know, they're hitting the pavement. They're uh, taking the classes. They're you know, making the auditions. They're not trying to look for the uh, overnight success. And uh, it's a pleasure to be a proud of it. You know what? I, I just I feel so blessed and I'm so grateful. Um, it has been it's really exciting. Um, I'm filming the CW's Nikita right now up in Toronto, Ontario, up in cold Canada. <laughs> and uh, it's just it's exciting, you know. Nine weeks, man. Liquid diet. Dude did a liquid diet and was running three hours a day. It's pretty crazy, yeah, but he did it. I'm not sure yet. So we just finished in May, and uh, the social network comes out October 1st. So go check that out. Social network, David Fincher. I have a project in development that's all about these girls. It takes place in the 80s, and they want to be in The Wiz, which is a, was a huge play at the time in New York and you know it's as high as you can go so theater and that's where I got my training I love theater so this is cool to be honest I had no idea it existed I went to the Image Awards um, but it's cool to see the other side of the business so I'm excited to be here I did it once um, when I went to Oxford for the summer I studied there so I did it once I did Macbeth so it was just heavy <laughs> my clips was set in Liberia West Africa and actually, my family is from Liberia. Yeah, my mom, my grandmother was killed in the war that we depicted. So it's it was definitely a very emotional experience. Um, but it was and it was very cathartic, I think, for all of us. But it was definitely a blessing. Crave magazine. Hey, Crave. How you doing? I'm Cece Antoinette, and I'm with the cast of Bronzeville. We're nominated best ensemble, best play, best director. <laughs> Best sets, actually we won earlier for best set, so yeah. So y'all are already on a roll. We're on a roll. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we, got, we have an after party too, you wanna come? We'll give you the invitation later. Right. <laughs> now we talked to the stars on the red carpet about the upcoming projects and being excited about the NAACP 20th anniversary of the Theater Awards, but right now we're gonna talk about personal style. A man in a suit, a lady in a dress, elegance, fit, style, swagger, all of it right now coming from your favorite celebrities, Brave Magazine, y'all.